Like, what do you mean cuddling with me? Like, you're not cuddling nowhere near me, bro. You're pushing it. Like, you pushing it. We crunk lit any bitch. Yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. I should probably take this gum out of my mouth so I won't be smacking in y'all ears. It was too good. I'll take it out with a loose flavor. <laughs> I kind of got to talk a little fast today. I'm trying to record this video before I have to go to work. And that's in a cool 20 minutes. And I be talking. Y'all know I be talking. We're just going to jump right into the story. Okay, let me paint the picture for y'all. This was a cool. I'm just kidding. <laughs> when was this? I would probably say probably like a year ago. Yeah, uh, was it? No. This is when me and Aki first started like interacting with each other. So probably like three years ago now. I decided he wanted to do like a... A day date type of thing, which is basically like you leave at like 12 in the afternoon and don't get home until like 3 in the morning, okay? It's a date. It's a whole day of dates. So we go on those here and there, and this day was just one of our little day dates. He tells me to get ready or whatever. I really had on something basic because I remember it was hot as hell. So I think I just had on like a tank probably like this and some jeans and some slides. Like we weren't doing that much, uh, but you know, you girls, boy. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, your girl was looking good. He looking fine. Y'all see my man, fine. We went out, you know, we started our day. We started at the casino. Everything's fine, because you know, well, if you don't know, here in Vegas, you can go sit down at the slot machines or whatever, and they give you free drinks. When you see the girls walking around, be like, you can get whatever you want, okay? So our go-to is double shot of Don and some Red Bull. Give us a double shot of Don and some Red Bull. So I would say we probably had like three of those. Sitting at the slot machines, we're gambling a little bit, just until um our... Lunch reservations was right. I'm not sure what hotel this is in, but it's a restaurant called Javier's out here. Um, it was my first time he took me. It's like a Mexican restaurant, it was really good. So yeah, we went to Javier's, it was really, really good. I remember when we went, it was so funny because I don't know why, but he likes to tell every place that we go to that it's my birthday. So they had the little mariachi band come out, sing me happy birthday with a little flan cake. Is that, is that how it's pronounced? Whatever, flan. I, that's, I don't like that. But, you know, they brought y'all a little flan cake, flan, flan, whatever. Came out and started sneaking to me, whatever, right? So, it was really, really fun. Like I said, we had like three drinks at the um, double shots. So, six. We had like six shots at the slots machines. We sat there for a little bit and then we went to lunch and had like a little, like a margarita or two. Aki's friends were out here from LA and they were supposed to be meeting us down at the strip to like, you know, walk around and hang out, right? Like I said, I'm not sure what hotel Javier's was in, but we left that hotel to go meet up with his friends at the MGM. So yeah, I'm really trying to talk really fast and just like boop, 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 boop. Cause y'all, I gotta go. My, I'm sorry if y'all hear my clothes too. My scrubs in the dryer dry. But like I said, we go meet up with his friends at the MGM. Now, I'm used to just playing slot machines, right? So me, when me and I go gamble, I be on the slots cause I got this one specific slot that I be hitting, okay? And they're like, okay, let's go, you know, to the tables. I don't know how to play the tables, y'all. Aki didn't know how to play the tables. But one thing about me and him is we from the hood. And you know, we, we know how to shoot craps. I know how to do that. I, I, I've i been around, you know, cousins, uncles, all of them, all of that. I know how to roll some dice. So they was like, let's go to the crap tables. You know how to shoot dice, call your points, 7-Eleven, know how to do that ding. That's how you do it. But you know, it's not just shooting dice because you got to know the parts of the table where you bet on, right? Don't ask me because I still don't know to this day. I just know like you could play the field or you could pick a number that you think they gonna roll. I'm not sure how you win. I I just put my little chip, well, my, my little chips. I put my man's little chips down whenever I feel a little lucky. If the dealer hands me back chips, ah, if he don't, I just be looking like, did I lose? <laughs> so I don't really know how to play. At that time, Aki really didn't know how to play. It's just like, like I said, we just know how to shoot dice. Good majority of people at this table, and you can see like the table doing good because you know it's cheering, it's ahs and oohs and you know all that great stuff. We see the little girl, that's all I'm worried about, y'all, the drinks. <laughs> His friends that we were with, I think one of them knew how to play really, really good. So he was trying to like teach all of us the gist of the game, you know? If y'all been to the casino, you know them crap tables kind of big. So on that end of the table, how would I describe them? Like. Mafias. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like they just look like they got money, okay? 
and they had like chip colors that I ain't never seen before. So I'm like, oh, they got money at that end of the table. So we should stay here because if they all screaming and stuff, that means somebody doing their job down there. So let's bet on him. It's this little short ass man. What are we gonna call him? How's that? <laughs> so this little short man, Jose, got big ass Cuban links on y'all like, Diamonds is glistening in the casino lights, like glistening. Um, I peeped them because like I said, when I looked this way, it looked like a whole little mafia gang over there with the chip colors I ain't never seen before. And the little shortest one, the energy he was giving off is like black. Like I don't know how to, I was trying to sugarcoat it like, I don't know, he just gave off black. Like he was like, oh, you could tell he one of us, you know? You know them type of people was like, oh, okay, I, I can hang out with you. Like, <laughs> I can hang out with you so so it comes around to the dice get to me and I was like okay here so I threw out my little chip or whatever and I roll the dice I hit my point or whatever and everybody starts screaming I don't know what's going on I'm just looking at the dice far because that shit was far so I'm like what's my point what's my point <laughs> so I was like nine and I'm like cool so I'm over here rolling the dice I guess whatever chips that they had playing on the table they was they got I got a good number for them. So I rolled the dice again. You know, it's like I had the dice in my hand in my possession for probably like six, seven minutes. But that's a long time when you rolling dice, okay? I was doing wonderfully. I was doing great. I didn't see no seven, no eleven. It's going great, it's going good. Then we go to Ox turn. Now, like I said, we don't really know how to play. Uh what I call him? Jose or Javier Jose. Okay, so Jose at the end of the table, like I said, when it gets to Ox turn, he walks over near me. He notices that the dude that knows how to play out of the friend group of ours almost trying to teach Ox. You know, trying to teach him the game, like what everything on the table means. Me, I was just throwing them dice. I did not care. Like I said, Jose next to me, he's realizing like I really don't know how to play. He hands Ox this chip. I look down at the chip. And it's $500. And I said, oh. I like, look at him like, what? He like, play it. I'm like, you just gave this man $500? We like you. Jose is now teaching Ak how to play. At this time, you know, I kind of step back a little bit and go on the other side of Jose so he can be closer to Ak. So I'm just sitting back looking up, looking around, looking for the girl to come so I can order my drink order. But then I notice this girl walking to the table and she has drinks in her hand and she's like so excited and just bubbly and full of life. And she's so little. <laughs> so she is just so little. Her name is hard. Like it's her nickname for sure. Whoever gave her that nickname was onto something. So we're going to name her Steph. Nowhere near her name because I don't even do her justice. She was like, oh my god, like you are so pretty. Like that's your man. I'm like, yeah, that's my man right there. <laughs> Turns out her man's is Jose. I'm like, oh, okay, cute. But she had like these big ass drinks that she brought at the bar for her and Jose. And the bar drinks was kind of expensive. Oh, I gotta hurry up. I got like five minutes. So like I said, she came over with these big drinks. She's like, oh my God, you are so pretty. What's your name? We exchanged names, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, that's your man. I'm like, yeah, that's me. And she's like, oh yeah, like, you know, he is so good at this. Talk about Jose. She's like, he is so good at this. Like we come out here. They're not from Vegas and they weren't from any state near. They're far away. She's like, oh yeah, we come out here like every other weekend so he can gamble, get his money or whatever. But me and her just over here talking, right? Going back and forth, blah, 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 blah. And she's just like, I love y'all energy. Your vibe is just so lit. Oh my God. Like I could just hang out with y'all all day. So now I guess since I kind of know how to play, they are getting lit. And when I tell y'all that, this man Jose just kept passing chips to Ock, just kept betting on him. Now more people are at the table. Like when I say we was at that table for probably like five hours, like it was so lit, so much fun. We made so much money that day. Like I feel like everybody made so much money that day. And she's like, let's go to the bar, right? So me and her walk back over to this bar and she's like, let's get the boys some drinks. So we order like these big ass fancy drinks. I don't know what was in it, okay? I was just following her league. I pulled out my money to pay. She was like, girl, be for real. Dropped her little coin or whatever. And I was like, oh. Me and Ak weren't planning on staying there that long because like I said, it was like a day date. So we had other things planned after this, but we kind of like lost track of time. We had lunch reservations at Javier's, but he also had dinner reservations at this other place. So we were supposed to be going to like an uh, escape room after that. Like it was a whole little day of dates that he had planned out. So reservations were made for this stuff. We didn't plan on staying at this damn craps table 
for over five hours, but that's what we were doing because the money, like I said, the money was being made. I keep almost saying this girl name. Me and Steph is just over there giggling, laughing. We shooting the dice when it come back to our turn. She's like, oh my God, what are you guys doing after this? Like our friends are coming, right? We're about to go to Javier's. And I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. Like. We just had that for lunch. She's like, oh girl, we got a private room. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be real like mafia. <laughs> but go off sis, I'm like, oh, okay. So she's like, yeah, it's a couple of her, well, their friends coming um, that are couples, singles, all that. Uh, I guess Jose was like clicking with, with Ock or whatever. So he like, yeah, like I fuck with y'all. Like y'all got real good energy. Like, no, y'all are coming with us. He wasn't giving us the option, okay? He was like, y'all are coming with us, honey. But Ock was like, oh, my friends are like, my friends are here too. Like, I can't delete them. And so Jose was like, oh, they coming with us too. Steph said, we got a private room. It seats like 20, 30 people. So I'm like, where is this room in Javier's? Because when we went, it was just like booths and tables. Like, you know, a, rest, a, a nice fancy restaurant, but you know, a regular restaurant. It got like tables and stuff. I didn't see this private room. It was kind of weird because Steph and Jose kind of like singled me and Ock out in a way that I really can't even remember because like I said, Ock's friends were there and it was like five of them. I don't know if we like walked away a little bit, I was lit or I really don't know what happened. But all I remember is me, Ock, Jose and Steph went up to their room at a different hotel. <laughs> Went up to their room so they can grab something. And then I realized what they were grabbing was, was grabbing some trees, okay? And I realized the packaging, cause you know how some, some people package up their plants. Uh, <laughs> some people pack it up, package up their plants in really like nice and unique packaging. So I'm like, oh, this is real nice. I know for a fact y'all didn't get this at no place like on the strip, okay? Cause I've been to all the little shops that sell tree on the strip. So I'm like, yeah, y'all didn't get this here. And then Steph was like, oh, this is our brand. Like they have their own brand. And I'm like, oh, that's when we started talking about like, okay, so what do you do? Like, I see y'all got these chips that I ain't never seen before. So like, where's the money coming from? But in a nice way, cause you know, I don't be in people's business. And then Jose start telling Ock like, oh, they sell the trees around the world. <laughs> like they have their own company. Um, so they have like three houses, one in LA, one in a different state, and one in uh, a different country. Steph is showing me like all the pictures of their houses, showing me like the vacation they just went on. She's showing me, cause she's about to do her little own collab with the brand. She's showing me her ideas and her packaging. I'm like, oh yeah, that's real cute. Like that's gonna do something. Now mind you, me and I do not participate in the tree taking, okay? I don't know what possessed us this night and why we felt so comfortable. But Jose was like, well, let's go outside so y'all can taste it. And I was like, oh, I don't do that. And I was like, yeah, I don't do that either. I don't know if it was the shots involved. I don't know if we just felt really comfortable. I don't know if it was just like the vibe. You know, sometimes it's like, okay, it's the vibe. Like, let me just one, two. But yeah, so we end up outside and now we're just with these random ass people. Like thinking back on it, like this shit is just so stupid because, because anything could be involved. People put a lot of different stuff inside of they, uh, stuff and we just really weren't thinking thank the lord nothing happened to us for some very good trees and at that point like i was lifted okay i was cross contaminated <laughs> i was living my best life honey it was the vibe so now we're outside and we're just talking and um Steph is telling us about these friends that are coming with us, right? Um, she names off a couple people with their mans, and then she names off these couple of people that like that are like together but not together. And then I remember specifically, it was this uh, Caucasian man and woman. Uh, they weren't together, but that was like her baby daddy. <laughs> that was like her baby daddy, and they be on and off all the time. But at this point, they they were off. Let me just have y'all understand of when I noticed like we might be in a bad position. <laughs> Like I said, Steph is telling me about her friends and she's giving me the scoop on all them and what they like to do in their free time and what they do to make their money. And it was um, this one girl who was like an acrobatic uh, star. <laughs> an acrobatic star. And I'm like, what the shit? Like, what does that even involve? It was a lot of crazy shit. And I'm like, what do we have ourselves getting into? Because at this point, we can't get out of going to dinner with these people like they got us by the hips for real like they was not trying to let us go they just kept saying like y'all are such an attractive 
we should have knew. They was like, y'all are just such an attractive couple. Like, y'all look so good. It's like, you are so beautiful. Like, your man is so fine. I'm like, all right, bitch, save my man fine one more time. We just got to squabble up right here on the strip. But I'm just saying, like, I get it. He fun. Look at him. He, that's why he my man, because he, he cute. I know. Like, you don't have to keep saying it. And I'm just sitting here like, your man don't care that you keep saying this. Born chocolate man is fun. Like, they make sense. When she was saying that kind of stuff, like, Jose is kind of just, like, agreeing, like, oh, yeah, y'all vibe is just so cool. Like, you are just so beautiful. I'm like, dang. And then he's like, yeah, okay, so after dinner, we're going to do this, 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 And I'm like, no, we're, we're not. Like, we're going home. We got plans at the crib. Like, we got things to do, things that need to be handled, okay? I'm not trying to be with y'all all day and night. They should have started this a long time ago. I really have to hurry up, so let me just get into it okay so dinner boom bow bean because this wasn't a story and really uh thank the lord the lord was looking out for us we get to dinner at javier's now i said remember how i said steph said they got a private room the host at javier's he didn't even have to tell this man his name like we walked up chains is glistening the friend group is here the friend group look a little crazy i ain't even gonna lie it looked like why y'all be hanging out with them some of them some of them like two of them out of the friend group because it was like seven eight of them like two of them out of the friend group was like oh okay i can understand why they're your friends but the other ones is kind of just like randomness it was a man with a cowboy hat and some cowboy boots and some little ass daisy dukes like what is going on here how are these people your friends so we walk up the hosts take us back into the private room it's this long ass beautiful table the chairs are immaculate the decor is amazing it's just so beautiful the lighting is real low real dim giving real sexy and rich okay i'm over here like wow this is beautiful like i've never experienced anything like mm, lying but i'm just like wow this is so nice like we're really just here with these random ass strangers. <laughs> Jose is like, y'all get whatever y'all want. Like, it's on me. Ak is like, nah, bro. Like, we good. Like, I, I can take care of us. He's like, hell no. We're having a great time. Y'all are such an attractive ass couple. Like, it's on me. They kept emphasizing how good we looked together and looked apart and just looked great, okay? He's like, it's on me. Get whatever you want. Now, Jose start ordering rounds of shots for the table. 1942 coming out. I'm like, oh, this, we about to get lit. Now, Ak is normally like, hell yeah, like this is the vibe, this is the energy. Until the lady that I said was on and off again with her baby daddy sat right next to him. Now, she starts talking about how she's like involved with like um, spirituality and she sees his aura and he just is an amazing person. Then she starts touching on my mans and giggling with her friends and they're just all like, well, how long y'all been? been together trying to get all up in our lives and I'm just sitting here like girl like I told Steph touch my man's again say he fine again we're gonna have a problem now the 1942 in my system the Don dancing around I'm like yeah y'all are uh get a little too touchy feely and I'm not vibing and I just keeps like you know when you get uncomfortable like <laughs> <laughs> bitch, stop touching me. So then he look at me like, baby, they like, I think she trying to get me. And I'm like, no, she not. That was before the whole touch of the feeling and I peeped. He always be trying to say people be trying to get him. I should have started listening because sometimes it be true. But sometimes he be a little doo He was like, baby, she trying to get me. And I'm like, oh my God. So then that's when I started peeping like, her touching and feeling. And then the girls across the table with their little man kept insinuating like, we need to come with them after. They have the presidential suite upstairs and it's gonna be a vibe and the party that they're about to have tonight is gonna be lit as fuck. And I'm like, what kind of party y'all having? Because Steph already told me that one of y'all is a star that be hanging from the ceiling from her nipples. <laughs> like, what is going on? Like, what is going on? So then I'm just sitting here eating my food. Like I said, we are lit. We are fine. Ak is fine. The, like, he's normal. We're eating the food. And then the talk starts getting very, like, uh, what would I, what, uh, demonic? <laughs> like, can I say that? Like, not really demonic, but just, like, they start talking about, like, stuff that happens at, like, parties in LA and like just the just the rumors that you hear they start talking about how like that shit is true and like the party that they're about to have like this person's coming tonight and last time they were with him like this and this will happen I don't want to say too much because they don't want to come get me 
Yeah, so they were just like, oh, so-and-so's coming to our party upstairs at the presidential suite. And, like, we do this kind of things. And they were just asking us, like, if we're down. And I'm like, hell no, I ain't down. I ain't mixing no bodily fluids with my bodily fluids. I'm not doing that with none of y'all. And I'm not doing that with no other strangers. Like, blood is involved. And I'm just like, yeah, y'all crazy. The friend gonna be hanging from the ceiling. Like, y'all are out of y'all minds. I'm gonna pass. Now, when they start talking about all this, like, Ak is getting, you can tell that he's getting very uncomfortable. Well, I can tell. He's getting very uncomfortable, and I know that I'm looking around like, because <laughs> I have social anxiety, so I already, when I'm in front of somebody talking, and I don't really know you, like, I just have this stupid-ass smile on my face. I apologize if you ever came up to me, and I'm just sitting here like, <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. Uh, Y'all, I be nervous. <laughs> I be having this stupid-ass smile on my face. So that's what I was doing at the table with everybody while they were talking, like, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But then I look over to Ak, and he's, like, visibly, like, something is wrong. So he goes to the bathroom. He's gone for, like, five, ten minutes, right? At this point, this is when I knew. Because I kept mentioned, like, oh, maybe they trying to get us. Like, maybe they swingers. Maybe they do this. Maybe they do that. Because Steph was insinuating that that was her husband. I don't think they really married, but probably who knows she was just like that was her husband so i was like they're probably swingers like i've never met swingers in real life i know people actually do that but i've never met like swingers in real life but this is how i knew that they were swingers and they were trying to get us ak leaves from the table jose is like oh what's wrong i was like i don't know like i don't think the food is really sitting right with him or whatever and he's like oh like he needs to get some more liquor he needs to get some more shots like i'm about to order this drink for him maybe he just needs to go lay down i was like yeah i think we're gonna be like leaving after this um because i got I said they was trying to have a state and go on more events and trips with them up until it was time to do the little hotel party they was having and i was just like no i think we're gonna go like home and jose was like no well, we have like the rooms upstairs like y'all just go lay down and steph was like yeah well you could just like lay down cuddling with you just seems like amazing and i was like bitch what like what do you mean cuddling with me like you're not cuddling nowhere near me bro you're pushing it like you pushing it when she sat down i was like what and then jose starts laughing he's like yeah that would be a vibe the other friends was like yeah like i think we all should just go upstairs and lay down for a little bit and i'm like who is we and who is all no like that's not happening. The one man with the cowboy boots and the Daisy Dukes, he just looked at me into my soul and was like, you are so sexy. And I just look like, it's time for me to go. I'm over here texting, I'm like, yeah, we about to leave. Come on, I gotta go now. Like they're really swingers, they're trying to get us because the man with the hat and the Daisy Dukes, his wife was sitting right next to him, just cheesing. And I'm like, Y'all are all out y'all rabbit ass mind tonight. I don't know if it's the liquor involved. I don't know what type of drugs y'all up in here on because one of them was off of something. That girl was off of something nice that I don't ever want to have in my system. <laughs> like I said, I'm texting Ox this. When he come back to the table, he make a little scurry hurry. He don't feel good. We got to get up and go, okay? As soon as we get up and go and head back over to his friends, I man, it's fine. I'm like, what was wrong? He's like, I don't know, like... I just felt so sick. Like, I don't know if it was a lady talking to him about all this witch, witchy stuff that she know how to do or what, but he was like, I just felt so sick. I think it was just the energy and the vibes. His body was like, yeah, no, it's time to go. It is time to go. That pretty much sums up the night. Like I said, I don't want to go into depth and drag it out so long because I have to go. It is time for me to go to work. I gotta go be in these people's mouths, honey. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made this far, you're not yet subscribed. What? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, bye.